name is Atia Walcott. Thank you for clicking on this video. All of the units we're gonna look at today are a two bedroom, two bathroom with a washer and dryer in unit. The first location we're gonna look at is located in River North. 1,460 square feet. The assessment for this unit would be $787 per month. After taxes, we would be paying $1,655 per month. We are buying a place outright. We loved the doorman. This is the only unit that we looked at that had a doorman. And this building was really cool because it was an art gallery. Twice a year, maybe there are these big parties and you get to mingle with the artists as well as other neighbors and other you know people in the building now the apartment itself huh there was a lot of exposed brick um the window slash balcony faced this highway like it felt like you were on the highway i didn't love that i thought it was a little bit dark there was a three car garage parking spot like what it's hard to get one spot let alone three so caveat about the parking spot it was an additional sixty thousand dollars Excuse me, <laughs> just gonna leave that there. Also, it was right by the river, so you can walk right out of the building and sit right outside by the river and enjoy some tea. Third amazing thing, it comes with this additional storage room. Like we could have set this room up as a home office. We could have set this room up as a movie theater. And this place also had a gym. The gym was a little dated. I'm not necessarily looking for a gym in my building. I don't use the gym. I don't like to work out in public. I like to work out in private. Unit number two was located in Lincoln Park. Park. It was a 1,600 square foot loft, and this loft is actually being rented out right now. It rents out right now for about $3,800 a month. It is a two bedroom, two bath. The building was built in the year 1900. It's a three level loft. The homeowners association fees are $469 a month. My husband and I, if we chose this unit after taxes, would be paying $1,160 a month to live in this location. The sunlight in this apartment was stunning. The exposed brick was stunning. The black fireplace was stunning. I loved it. The ceilings were 23 feet tall. Did you hear me? Unit number three was actually a different unit in this same building. This loft I have sort of nicknamed the Bland Beauty because there was nothing wrong with this loft, but I think that the decoration, like the color of the wall mixed with the color of the kitchen, it just added up to this sort of bland feeling. So it didn't really spark any joy or any interest. And the kitchen in this unit actually looked better in real life. It had these really nice cement and or concrete countertops, but it just wasn't our favorite. Let's move on to our next location. This is a lovely unit also located in Lincoln Park. Um, I'm unsure about the square footage. It was a small unit, but they conveniently left off the square footage. I have nicknamed this apartment train tracks and i'll tell you why in a second so this building was built in 1993 it was a two bedroom two bath with a garage uh it has a 322 dollar homeowner association fee per month and my husband and i after taxes would pay 803 dollars per month some units had such good prices you know 803 dollars is let's just say it's less than half of what we pay to live in our dungeon in los angeles we loved that it had an open kitchen it also just had really nice finishings in the kitchen and a really 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 nice sink the major downfall was that there was a train right by this unit. I didn't see the train tracks until we got into the bedroom and I'm like, oh, there's a train. The realtor who was selling the unit was saying that the train is super quiet. The 15 minutes we were there, the train ran three times. Maybe it was two different trains running by each other because it was loud. The whole apartment shook, like the unit was shaking. It wasn't as bright as I had wanted. And again, those train tracks were really tricky. Now we're gonna move on to the fifth unit we saw. It is located in Humboldt Park which is probably the least safe by statistics of an area that we looked at, but I felt very safe and very comfortable on our actual street and in our neighborhood. It was a very residential area. The building was built in 2020, so it was very new. It was 1,300 square feet. I have nicknamed this unit crisp and clean because that is exactly what it was. It was so freaking nice. Everything was so new. The kitchen was nice. The appliances were so 
nice. And oh my gosh, the best part was that this place had three balconies. This unit had three balconies. You had a balcony off your bedroom, you had a balcony off your living room, and then you had the entire rooftop of the whole building. It's a private rooftop. I don't know why, but I'm really looking for a place with a staircase. I have learned that when you're living in a small apartment, if you have staircases, for me personally, for some reason, it just makes the space feel larger it feels like you can travel in your home even if it's just a bedroom and a living room so the homeowners association fees on this building was awesome it was only 175 dollars a month however the taxes on this building because of all that rooftop was huge if we went with this unit we would have been paying 1300 dollars a month in assessments and taxes one last thing about this unit that I was dying for, a window in the shower. Not one where people could see, but one that let in so much natural light and they were able to have a plant in their shower. Um, most of the apartments we looked at sort of had dungeon bathrooms, so no windows in the bathroom. Let's move on to our sixth location, located in the heart of Bucktown slash Wicker Park. It was a 1,250 square foot condo with two bedrooms, two baths. It had upgraded appliances and finishes. The homeowners association cost was $500 a month. And after taxes, Tim and I would be looking at about $1,293 per month on this condo. It was stunning. Whoever lived in this apartment had good taste. There was not a room in this that did not have amazing attention to detail. Issues with this unit was on the bottom floor. So it got the least amount of light. We are currently on the bottom floor of a three, of a three story building no light here. This unit was on a gorgeous street. Like all of the other homes on this street were like million dollar homes. Leave a comment down below on which unit you think we chose. Also subscribe. We are moving on to unit seven. I have nicknamed this unit, I am born again, because this unit I was obsessed with. The building was built in 1913. It's a two bedroom, two bath located in the heart of Wicker Park. It was a 2,100 square foot apartment with the most stunning bedroom we saw that day look at this bedroom i was like let me just move in right now i loved it one cool thing about this apartment was that your door your entryway into the unit was an elevator so that was very reminiscent of new york city to me i just was obsessed tim and i were both obsessed it was huge the homeowners association fees for this building were for 433 dollars a month after taxes we would be paying 1190 dollars a month the bedroom was stunning but it was on a noisy street to walk the dogs at a place where there's grass patches we would sort of have to walk down on the street and down a bend at night i don't think i would feel safe walking around that dark corner there was no balcony and the building care itself was terrible there were cobwebs it needed new paint for what you're paying and compared to the care of other units with comparable assessments the building care needed to be stepped up a bit we are gonna move down over to Wrigleyville now, um, AKA Lakeview, like the greater Lakeview area. This was a 1500 square foot sort of, it was a loft, but it was also like a townhome. Uh, it was two bedroom, two bath. It didn't even have like a proper one bedroom to me. It sort of had this office looking room and then th this lofted space where you are supposed to put your bedroom. But again, I want a closed off room to sleep in. There were also random stains in this apartment and the biggest 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 problem was that it reeked of cigarettes nasty we walked into the apartment i immediately walked upstairs outside onto the balcony they were like atia where are you i was like i'm outside i just like i could not breathe in there the homeowners association fee was 368 dollars per month after taxes tim and i would only be paying 917 dollars per month the space i had really high hopes for before we got there in person and smelled it because look at these windows, they were so nice. And then the fireplace was so stunning. It was such a unique space. The photo shoots would have been unreal to be honest, but again, it was a no-go. Move on to the next unit. So this one was located in Lakeview East. It was 1800 square feet. And I've nicknamed this one the Gossip Girl apartment because this one was giving all of the Upper West Side flair that it needed to. And if you're actually from the Upper West Side and it doesn't look like that, please correct me and let me know in the comments. But like. This one is giving Blair Waldorf. Look at this frickin' ceiling, look at it. The homeowners association fees on this unit was $578 per month. After taxes, Tim and I would be looking at $1,241 per month. 
Honestly, I was obsessed with this freaking unit. Like, what can I say? There was not enough natural light. However, there were so many rooms in this space. We had to put like little booties on our shoes because the floors were freshly finished. I loved this space. I was obsessed. Our second to last unit was located in Lincoln Park. It was a two bedroom, two bath. The building was built in 1923. Uh, yeah. This one I had a few problems with. It was over budget and not only that, it was like a cave in there. Like it, I just wasn't really feeling it. The homeowners association fees were $824 a month. And after taxes, we would be paying $1,653 a month. Okay, that is like rent. So long as we can keep it around like a thousand eleven hundred dollars a month it was really nice and the location was really nice but it just didn't have the the natural light we were looking for it felt sort of cramped and it had a really nice rooftop but this was a public rooftop we didn't have any private rooftop space and i've learned that i don't feel that comfortable shooting in public all right let's move on to our last unit so this was in east lakeview it was a two bedroom two bathroom the homeowners association fees were 160 dollars a month after taxes we would be paying 1087 dollars a month on this unit it was really nice it had really nice finishes um it felt a little bit cramped in comparison to other spaces we looked at. Um, we did see it at the end of the day, so there wasn't that much natural sunlight coming in, which I think worked uh, towards this unit's disadvantage. In comparison to the 10 other units we saw, it just didn't do anything to take our breath away. There was nothing unique about this space that we loved. The realtor though, whose name was also Tim, was very nice and very kind, and I hope he sells this home soon. All right, so I hope you enjoyed seeing all of those apartments with us. We chose one of these units. It is being inspected as I talk and should everything go well, we close December 29th. I am so excited for this series. Please, please, please like, comment, subscribe if you wanna follow this new journey. We are moving to Chicago. We will be road tripping with our dogs. We will be doing a moving and packing series. We will be doing an empty apartment tour. And then we're gonna spend literally like six months just furnishing and working on this apartment and creating content for you guys both here on youtube and over on tiktok where i create fashion content follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok follow me i mean subscribe to me on youtube and i'll see you in the next video bye Eleven thousand would be paying 1100 the homeowners is, uh, in homeowners it was a 1200 foot i mean it was a 1200 my husband and I...